Throughout the summer, work continues on the final designs for Guy's sledge. Dr. Terry and Dr. Nick drive out to a glacier in the Alps with the prototype, where they make repeated runs to ensure the sledge is stable and safe at high speeds. We've done about three or four runs so far, getting progressively higher and higher, faster and faster, going really, really well, very pleased with the day so far. Back in the UK, John Hart's finished his work on the aerodynamics, which he hopes will make Guy's sledge a record breaker. He starts by showing how unaerodynamic a combination of Guy and the prototype are. So what we're actually looking at here was if you could see all these swirling vortices that are coming off you. So as the air flows over you, it's going smooth, 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 separates away and starts to swirl and turn. And what we can see here is all the different swirls and turns that are coming off you that are creating this drag. Now John reveals to Guy what his final sledge will look like. We've come up with a shape, a fairing, that will hopefully smooth the flow all around you. Yes. You can see the flow coming across is much smoother. And off the front of the skis, it's also reduced. And when you see the prototype and the final design next to each other, the difference is clear. We've managed to reduce your drag by 34%. Right. That's fairies then. That's massive. That's massive. That's massive. Big. That is big. Now Guy can finally get on with making his sledge. And for that, he's come to EPM Technology in Derby, experts in carbon fibre construction. Oh, yeah. um, it's Guy Martin here. Um, I'm after seeing someone about building a sledge. Their clients include four F1 teams, Olympic rowers, canoeists and sailors from Team GB, and now Guy Martin. The whole process of making Guy a carbon fibre sledge takes two days. It starts by carefully pressing three layers of carbon fibre cloth into a mould. Carbon fibre is being used for Guy's sledge because it's so strong, five times stronger than steel and twice as stiff. Its surface is also very smooth, which will improve the sledge's aerodynamics. Once vacuum packed to prevent air bubbles, it's cured overnight in a massive pressure cooker called an autoclave. So we're sitting there and it'll cure for six hours. That's six what I'm hours. Six hours. Bottom. The next morning, Guy's carbon fibre sledge has set solid. Come on, be brave. Whack it. You don't think? No, no. You won't break it. And after some delicate work with a mallet, it's released from the mould. Let's just <laughs> waggle it. Let's just waggle it. Hooray! <laughs> Little trick. Little trick. Yeah. Where are we going? On to here. Guy fits a windscreen so he can see where he's going, and they put in a chassis holding the braking mechanism and topped with a foam cushion for Guy to lie on. Finally, the parachute unit is slotted into an extension pole so it sits far enough back not to get tangled with Guy's feet. And then we sort of dummied it up on the workbench to see what it felt like with the brake. That's it. And it just feels a treat. Can you see where you're going? You think that's my position all right? I'm all right there. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right there. I think you see all right. Looks good. Yeah. After eight months of research, scientific testing, and hard graft, Guy finally has a sledge. We need to keep the stealth look. We'll turn up with straight faces, go out there and do the business. And we've got no excuses. This, this, if there was ever a tool for breaking the record, this is it. All he needs now is some snow. 